This is a tutorial on how to send a message to the Infinite Campus Message Center. When you first log on to Infinite Campus, it will look like this, and you are already part of, or on the Message Center page. To create a new message, you click New. Once you've done that, you are able to use a template, and you might save the advisory email as a template to be used again. And if you choose a template, it will automatically fill in the message subject and the message body below. No matter whether you pick a template or not, you want to make sure to click the inbox and the email. This ensures that students and parents will receive this message in their Infinite Campus inbox as well as their emails. Then, if you are creating a new email or message, you'll put a message subject in right here. For instance, I could write advisory message for fall 2016. Then, I can write whatever I want in the body. Make sure to sign this particular email in a fashion that allows the recipients to know that to respond to it, they will need to create another email that is sent directly to your email account. It also says that you can add email attachments. I've tried this multiple times and my students and parents have told me that it doesn't work. So I always make sure to put all of the information in the email and if they need more information they can personally email me and I send them back whatever attachment they may need. Once you have this filled out, click Next. This is where I'm going to select the students and parents that I may want to receive this email. So, notice this is semester one, which would apply right now. If you were in semester two, you would look there. If you want to send this to a particular class, like we want to send our first email to advisory students and parents, I can just go down, and all of my classes show up here from Infinite Campus. I'll go down to advisory and I'll click on that. If I only wanted students to receive it below, I would click just on students. If I want students and all messenger contacts that are aligned with the advisory class, then I will click on both of those. If I only want specific recipients, for instance, just certain people from a class, then notice um, by clicking specific recipients from a section, I have the student messenger contacts so this particular student, maybe I want to add uh, their parents or guardians. And then if I click here, I can look at the students, and I want that student to receive the message too. That's an option. For our advisory emails, we will not be doing that. We will be sending this email to all the recipients that are students and parents or guardians related to that advisory class. Once I've selected the class or people group that I want to send my message or email to, I'll click on Next. This will tell me how many people are going to receive the email and that it will go to 28 inboxes on Infinite Campus as well as 24 email accounts. When I am finished with this, um, I can view the recipients to make sure I know which students and parents and guardians are receiving this. And finally, I click Send.